Pepperdine and Portland Pilots faced off here at Firestone Fieldhouse on Saturday afternoon. Pepperdine started off hot, taking a 2-0 set lead over the Pilots, but the Pilots would rally back, taking three straight sets to win three sets to two. Let's take it to the highlights. First set, Pepperdine and Portland battled on the close one early, but the Pilots began to pull away midway through the set, going up 13-8. The Waves would take a huge 12-8 run to tie this game down the stretch 20-20, but both teams went point for point before Hannah Froley got the go-ahead point off the kill to give Pepperdine the lead 25-24. The next play, Jasmine Gross rejected the Pilots' attack at the net to give Pepperdine set number one 26-24. Second set, Pepperdine's offense came roaring out of the break playing strong defense to take an early 6-1 lead. The Waves continued to keep their foot on the gas pedal, increasing the lead to 13-6 off a kill by Hannah Froling and a block by Ashley Harris. The wave of momentum would not stop there as Pepperdine got contributions off the bench from Jaden Farr, who got a service ace to give the Waves set point. Pepperdine would go on to win set number two, 25-12, following a block by Heidi Dyer and Tara Wiley. Third set, Pepperdine and Portland found themselves in a close one 7-7, but the Waves took a gigantic 9-1 run behind an all-around team effort on the offensive and defensive ends to take the lead 15-8. However, the Pilots would not go down quiet, making a late comeback by taking a 6-0 run to cut it down to 20-18 game. Tara Wiley made two clutch kills to give the Waves a 22-19 lead, but the Pilots took a 6-1 run to win the set 25-23. Fourth set, it was all Portland throughout the set as the Pilots took an early 10-6 lead en route to a 25-18 set for a victory to tie the match 2-2. Fifth set, Pepperdine and Portland found themselves in a seesaw battle early, but Portland jumped out to a 5-point lead en route to a 15-10 set five victory to win the match three sets to two. Sophomores Heidi Dyer and Jenna Tunnel led the waves with double-double efforts as Dyer put up 22 assists and 15 digs, while Jenna Tunnel had 26 assists and 19 digs. Anna Froling also had 15 kills off the bench, while Tara Wiley contributed 12 of her own. Up next for the Waves, they will be traveling up to Northern California for a two-game road trip, taking on San Francisco on the 13th and Santa Clara on the 15th. For G News, I'm Arthur Poo.